Hi everyone, my name is Audra Wilson and I'm with Castonia Tractor out of Fowler, Indiana. My current position is an IS consultant. Hi, I'm Cassidy Manier. I'm also out of the Fowler location and I'm the IS consultant as well. So today we're going to go through the steps on how to winterize your precision ag equipment and make sure everything's good and ready to go for next year. So let's take a look. So before removing your displays from your cab or tractor before winterizing them, uh, we highly recommend that you take a USB stick that is formatted as FAT32 and you want to export the data off just in case anything were to happen. We know that you may have a modem in your tractor or combine, but still, just for the sake of your data and making sure that everything is there, you'll just take your USB, insert it into the display and it might take it a second but it should pop up with a usb option like this and say export data here you just want to say export all data to usb drive it'll have everything automatically check marked for you and you just hit export data once it exports all the data, it'll pop up with a message saying that it's complete. Which is what we see here. And now you are safe to remove your USB device. Okay, so in this tractor, we have two displays. We've got a command arm and then we have a universal unit. Uh, for the sake of the demonstration today, we're just gonna be removing the universal display. Um, you can also remove the command arm. There's some screws back there. So if you wanna take everything out, you can most certainly do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna key off the tractor. And we're gonna let these displays uh, power down, make sure they're all black before you start removing anything. And these displays here that you're seeing are the 4640 uh, Gen 4 displays. Okay, so none of the displays have completely powered down. We, and for our video, we just have it to where it's just sitting here, but you may have it on a display mount where you have an ethernet cord plugged in, a video cable plugged in, and the wiring harness. So once the machine is completely powered down, you will want to unhook the wiring harness from the display. And then at this point, after you get it all unhooked, you can remove all your bolts and nuts to get it um, down from your bracket mount. Once we have the display properly removed, we have our wiring harness and we highly recommend also unplugging this stuff and moving it inside as well so that it doesn't corrode and get all nasty. Okay, so if you're wanting to take your command arm unit inside, it's fairly simple. What you need to do is come back behind the unit itself. There'll be a bracket back here. You need to remove the bolts and the screws. Once you have those done, you just need to lift up on the display itself and there'll be a little wire that comes free. Unplug that and take it inside and you're good to go. So now that we have the displays removed from the cab, we are going to remove our Starfire 7000 receiver. By doing so, we'll climb up here. You can see it's plugged in here. Here. First, before we remove that, we want to make sure that the light that's normally green or blue is off. So now that we can verify that it's off, we'll reach up here and unplug it. And then right here, there's a little black clip that's on the bracket. We will pull that, lift up, and remove our receiver. Now, some of the tractors may have a little plug that goes over this. You want to make sure that you plug that back in to keep dirt and dust from going in there. All right, so now that we've gotten our display and our receiver inside, we're gonna go ahead and get those cleaned up. So we recommend using just some screen wipes and we'll go ahead and get that all wiped down. You can also wipe down the receiver too and make that sure that's nice and clean. Um, once you get that done, we recommend putting it in a nice uh, dry place and they can just stay there over the winter and be ready to use when you're ready for spring.